Hey, morning guys. It's Friday. We have a couple of things that we have sold that we're going to get ready to ship out. And then we're going to head out and do some thrifting, some picking. I mean, we haven't really gone much lately. I am still trying to get back into the game after all the holidays and laziness and cookies. And the one thing about working for yourself is you have to find your own motivation. And mine is friggin' lost. But we sold a book on Etsy. Um, Rich bought a bunch of toasters a while back. There's a video for that if you want to go find it. Um, it was an estate auction and the owners of the estate collected toasters. <laughs> so this came with one of the lots of toasters that he bought. We don't really have any specific money into this and I, of course, didn't look again to see what I sold it for. Sold for $15 plus the cost of shipping. So not bad. We're going to get that ready to go out and we have one other thing that is over here on the shelf. This pretty glitter snow globe. This is the first snow globe I've sold from the lot of snow globes that I purchased off of Facebook Marketplace for five bucks. Sold this one for 15 plus the cost of shipping, so that should put me in the clear. Um, with gas and everything, I'm right on the brink of everything else's profit. So I love that that is happening. These are the only two things that have sold. Let's go find some new stuff. Check out the Winter Wonderland. That's going to be a really pretty drive to go thrifting today. Hopefully the roads don't suck too bad. Okay, thrifting we go. I love that. Still in the market for a large velvet painting of a cat. Ooh, that thing's sweet. I oh, know. Made in USA, Bohemian, B&W. Damn, I wanted to look at the bird plate. Oh my god, I love it. It's not marked by any, like, artist or anything, though. It would be hard to look up. I always look for signatures. It's a set of four, 50 cents a piece. Oh wow, here's a set of the highball ones for 60. These are neat. They're modern, but I like them. Well, unfortunately, it's not worth it. You can buy them brand new for 14. Some stuff worth it, some stuff not so much. The snow is crazy. It is like full on blizzarding out. <laughs> Already got some stuff in my basket. Jazz tour t-shirts. Definitely not my wheelhouse. We're just going to look it up. Jazz t-shirt, not worth it. 1995 Tyco. Big Bird, about to look him up. This one's pretty sad looking and they're asking 60 on Etsy, but I can't find a whole lot of info. Jeez Louise. Found some things and some stuff and Rich has my bag. But that's a cool looking desk. It's like kind of rough though, $150. Well look at that. Rich is uh, looking out of his comfort zone and he find a, finds a You Are Here Niagara Falls mug, Starbucks mug, with the original packaging. I found a brand new sealed puzzle that may or may not be worth it. We're just trying to look it up right now. It's a thousand piece. Be fun eBay. to do. Reference books. Finally found one. This one's coming with us. Ah, Salvation Army. Our last thrift stop of today. Looks like Glenn Miller. I freaking love it. It's 50 bucks though. Find anywhere? And that's different. I don't think you see, I've never seen one like that. I absolutely love it. I have to go see that. How neat. There's nothing in it, I guess, but there is lights that light up the windows. I don't know, I think it's cool. And I think Rich wins the day. 
vintage single stitch powerhouse gym t-shirt. Yeah. I think I might have found one too. Property of County General ER NBC Experience Store 2XL. We've made it back home and we have things. I thought today was a pretty good picking day. We got this 1995 Tyco plush like Puffalumps style Big Bird. Um, he's in really good condition. He's very clean. There's no rips or holes or anything. He has his original tag somewhere right here. Now, he was hard to find. I found one in really crappy condition. I think they were asking like 60 bucks for him. I am going to list him likely for... Something just sold. <laughs> um, likely for right around 60 uh, or a best offer. And we'll see how that goes. He's like 24 inches. He's a big one. Next, picked up this set of four glasses for 50 cents a piece. Uh, Sierra, I think is what that says. I could not find the low ball glasses. I could only find the tall ones. And the one set that I found listed, couldn't find any soles, was listed for 60 bucks. So I'd be happy with like 30, 35 for these. We'll see how they do. These were a bit surprising to me. They are vintage Tupperware salt and pepper shakers, and they are definitely the mid-century style. I paid $1.50 for the set, I think, and they are listed kind of all around like the $30 to $40 range, so I didn't, you get really crappy service in a lot of these thrift stores, so I'm going to do a little bit more research, but I think for the money that I spent on them, I can still definitely see a profit. Bought this for myself because I love Yankee Candles. This one was barely burned. If I can get the lid off. Hydrangea. Sucks you guys don't have smell of vision because that smells amazing. The Koi Fish Vase. Now this is a actual modern piece that you can still buy from the company if you want to spend $100. Uh, used, I should be able to get $45, maybe $50 if I push it. Um, I've never sold one of these before, so it was basically just, I seen it, I thought it was cool. I could easily look it up, and therefore I did. We'll see how it does. My first M.A. Hadley mug, I looked these up. I couldn't find this specific design, but these should be... Oh, look, I didn't even notice this. The end at the bottom. Rich, look at that. It says the end. That is so cute. Um, I should be able to expect somewhere between like 18 and 24 for this. I love that this piece has the original box. It is a Starbucks mug from the Niagara Falls You Are Here series. And uh, I think we paid $1.50 for it. Ouch. I think when I looked them up, they were going right around $24, $25, bucks, but we do have the original box. So we likely will get $25 to $30 because it's in the original packaging. And I've been looking everywhere we go for reference books because it amazes me. Some of these freaking books can be worth a ton of money. Um, I found three, and out of the three, this is the only one really worth purchasing. Um, it's probably worth right around 20 bucks plus shipping. Seems to be what they were going for. I might peruse this before I put it up for sale. Um, I do sell vintage Christmas, but I don't know a ton about it, so I don't know. I might flip through it before I put this up for sale, but likely it will be right around 20 plus shipping. This piece is absolutely, it's gorgeous. It's done absolutely beautifully. Got the cross and I don't see any damage, no stains. It's got a great, um, stitch to it. I absolutely thought it was just super unique for five bucks. I have no idea what I'm going to ask for it. Maybe like 45. It's not huge, but it definitely makes a fantastic like throw blanket, um, you know, over your existing bedspread. And last but not least, we have a couple t-shirts. I found the, uh, County General ER shirt, which is awesome because I'm actually a big fan of the show. It is a 2XL, so it's a large size. I paid $2 for it. I should expect right around $28, i am thinking. There's no damage, and it's a good size. And then Rich 
shot on this one, which is, is probably my favorite. This is a 1980s graphic on a Jersey's 2X, or yeah, XXL T. Uh, the fabric is getting pretty thin. There is one tiny hole somewhere that I cannot see currently. Um, one without the Ann Arbor, Michigan, but this graphic I found a sold for, I think, $69.95. Um, I'm not sure if the Ann Arbor is going to help it hurt it or it's not even going to matter. I'm likely going to list this right around 60 bucks or best offer, and we'll just see how it does. I, I love t-shirts. And that was our haul from today. I think we did really well.